So I'm going to Professor Thornfield's office again to talk about my paper. Um, I don't know why I brought my camera. <laughs> Old habits, I guess. Um, after everything that's happened, I don't want to write about a paper reflecting on my life. It's, it's over. It's basically over before anything's really began. And honestly, it's so depressing. And I really don't think I can write about it. I don't know what to do. Come in. Hey, Professor. Tessa, come on in. Um, sorry, the, the camera. You're fine. Go ahead, have a seat. Okay. What can I do for you? Um, I don't think I can finish the paper. I see. It's too much. It's so hard and I have no motivation or inspiration and every time I sit down to write, nothing comes. I'm, I'm surprised, Tessa. The first half of your paper was so promising. Can I ask what changed? I'm, I'm struggling. Um, I, uh, I ruined a friendship and a familial relationship and I don't have much left. I'm so sorry to hear that. But Tessa, if I may be so bold, this sense of helplessness and fear and insecurity well, that's exactly what fuels writers to write. What do you mean? Well, do you think those great authors just quit writing when they were experiencing the gulf of woe in the breaks of their mind? No. no, no, they... Writers don't just quit writing when life doesn't go according to plan. They, they write in the depths of anguish and pain and when all they can do is barely lift a pen and bear their souls on paper. Are you saying that I should still write? I'm saying writers write about life as they see it through their eyes. Life, Tessa, the pain and the happiness, the tears and the laughter. So, do you think I can do it? Tessa, you are a writer. You've proven yourself this far. Thank you, Professor. Well, now it's time to prove that you're a true writer. Will you bravely pick your pen and paper back up and write out your torments, or will you sit on the bed of helplessness and let your talents wither away. I don't know. I can't tell you, but, but what I can tell you is that writing out your innermost thoughts is the best medicine that can heal all wounds. But it takes courage. It takes courage to begin again when you're facing these trials and So, what about my paper? Well, that's your decision. If, if you're able to finish it or not, but what I will tell you is that I will be so disappointed to see such a promising student waste away her talents. 
Thank you. Tessa, my door is always open. I know. Good luck on your paper. Thank you, Professor.